one last look at just the curves. I know I keep saying that to you, and I'm sorry to sort of get your hopes up and then dash them, or vice versa, or you guys preparing not to see them anymore, and then we're still here. Just because we're waiting for Ephraim, who's checking very carefully for Karula. Right, I've officially filled up Brent's memory card. He's going to be very chuffed with me. That's okay. I think he did lend me his camera. Of course, now they're being utterly adorable in the open, in full sunlight. But nevertheless, that is just the way things are. Please take lots of screenshots, since I've now can no longer take any more photographs. Best, most photogenic creatures you have ever seen. They are absolutely marvellous. I have had, I think this has been my best leopard cub sighting ever. And I feel like I say that every time we go and see these two. But it really, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, it really has truly been extraordinary. We are so fortunate to be in this position. Hosanna has found himself something at the back there, a stick of some kind. Shungile now resting after her brotherly tackle. I can't believe how fortunate we've been, the amount of time we've got to spend with these animals. Oh, I'm thinking about hunting little brother, or big brother, twin brother. Can you believe we're watching leopard cubs play live from the middle of the African bush? Admittedly with one or two problems every now and again. But needless to say, we, we've been given an insight into the way that these creatures grow and learn and play in a way that I think is unparalleled. You might get a shot or two like this in a documentary, maybe a documentary about the life of a leopard, but this is live, this is unedited and certainly unscripted. I feel as though it's the best way to watch and to learn about the wildlife in this area. You will always be able to picture what a five-month leopard looks like. Five-month-old leopard.